Hey there. Apple Intelligence has been out in preview for developers for a while now, so I thought I'd take us through some of the things that it can do. So if you double press the command key, you'll see this type to Siri dialog here. So you can do things such as send a message. So I'm just going to type send a message to mum. And then it asks, what do you want to say? Just testing out Apple intelligence. And then I press return. And then I can click send and send the message. It can do other things uh, such as uh, what's some recent email. All right, and here's a, an email that's recently in my uh, mailbox. It can also integrate with calendar. So for example, uh, create an event tomorrow at 2 p.m. to review the mockups. And now it's created this event in my calendar. They've also got a whole bunch of writing tools. So in pages, I might uh, be taking some meeting notes uh, in shorthand, like um, build to revise Figma designs. Figma. Oh, yeah. uh, based on um, product feedback. And I'll just do this all lowercase to test it. Um, and then maybe uh, Zoe to look into local first database options. Actually, let's make this a little more shorthand. Local first database options. And then we'll do uh, let's schedule catch up sesh next Thursday. All right, so if I select this and then right click, uh, you can see writing tools here. Uh, so I'm just going to select show writing tools. And we've got a whole bunch of options here that we can choose from. So let's do um, proofread. All right, so it's added a hyphen after catch up. That's uh, left sesh there. <laughs> but yeah, it's expanded Thursday. Um, hasn't suggested a hyphen for local first. Hasn't capitalized bill, which is interesting. Uh, but it has capitalized Figma. Uh, and it's added a full stop. And yeah, it's fixed the apostrophe there. So some useful useful feedback there could do more. Uh, let's select rewrite. Ooh, interesting tone. Bill, please revise the Figma designs based on the product feedback. Zoe, please investigate the let's schedule. Um, yeah, I mean, it would be cool if you can actually customize it a bit more. Uh, like you can in ChatGPT, like, um, you know, I want to use a different tone. Uh, you know, don't write it like I'm addressing the people. Uh, you know, this is just summary notes. So let's have a look at some of the other writing tools. So key points, I can summarize everything I think. Yeah. So this is quite useful for meeting notes because uh, now I've got a list of stuff that's all nicely organized and you can just accept the suggestion and it'll put it in like so. You can also make it a list. And there you get a nice list of items. So it's, um, I guess, identified the comma there as a new list item. So that's that's cool. I reckon that could save save a lot of time. Make it a table.
so I reckon stuff like that could automate a lot of um, a lot of stuff. Then summarize. Let's see what the the summary is like. Build to revise Figma designs based on product feedback. Yeah, I mean, the catch up session next Thursday is kind of important. I would think. It seems to have decided that's not important and left it out of the summary. Now, onto my favourite features. Uh, let's let's make this. Uh, well, let's make it friendly because it's all already a little bit professional. Here's an update on our ongoing projects. Ah, you know, I mean, I guess maybe you can't do that much with, with this. So let's try the make professional. <laughs> Interesting, so I guess they're not actually that dissimilar. Whereas when I was testing it with other text, it was a lot um, lot more different in the, the tone. Build revised Figma. Yeah. And all right, let's try something different. Um, let's try some different writing see what Apple dog has in store for us in the way of AI so cool how's dogecoin going to the moon <laughs> crypto is the coolest All right, <laughs> let's see, can, can it make this professional? That's thinking. <laughs> Writing tells aren't designed to work with this type of content. All right, it, it doesn't even want to want to attempt it. Let us, oh, but there we go. Let us explore alternative writing styles to ascertain. Whoa, so fancy. The capabilities of Apple's AI technology it is indeed an exciting development. How is Dogecoin provide? <laughs> that's really remarkable. <laughs> All right, well, a little bit wanky, but you know, I guess that's that's professional. Uh, All right, let's try. Let's try make it friendly. I mean, I feel like this is already pretty friendly or casual. Um, hey, let's explore some different writing styles and see. It's so exciting, and guess what? Skyrocketing. Oh yeah. So, yeah, you know, I think that's that's a fun, fun style. Uh, you know, whether that is actually useful, I'll leave that up to you. A concise variant. Let's try a different. Yeah. So there you go. Short little summary of writing tools. I reckon, um, you know, creating lists and tables out of unstructured data. I think that's the uh, most exciting use case for me uh, out of out of all of those features. I reckon, you know, for large amounts of text, that could definitely save some time if you're trying to translate between different formats. All right. So another feature uh, that Apple Intelligence has is summarization of email. So if I go into my notifications, you'll see that uh, mail has kind of a summary of all of the items. And then if I click this, then it actually expands all of, all of those items. So it's kind of hit and miss. Um, Sometimes the summaries completely lack uh, context. And, you know, I think a good website would be examples of this uh, that fail spectacularly. Uh, there's already been uh, some pretty hilarious uh, examples on X of uh, where these summaries get wrong. 
And as I've been using it myself, you know, a lot of the emails are already concise in terms of, you know, the subject is, uh, you know, a short thing to get your attention and the start of the article or message generally contains what it needs to convey, uh, you know, because that's how people write emails to, you know, make sure that you know what um, the email's about to start off with. So I haven't really noticed a huge um, personal use for this. Uh, it seems very vague and um, doesn't save me a lot of time, but, you know, who knows? We'll see where this tech goes and maybe uh, it'll be more useful going forward. Anyway, that's a quick, short uh, exploration of some of the new Apple intelligence features. Uh, what do you think? Let us know in the comments and see you in the next video.